A spade is known for many uses and consequently different names. However, despite the name, form or use it is known or goes by. Here on The Advocate, we call it by its name, a spade. Welcome to another No Oats Bad edition of your favorite program on Plus TV Africa, The Advocate. Today, my advocacy is on how everything in Nigeria is tailored to stress you, even down to your favorite musician beefing each other. Anyone here is asking a very important question about what Africa and Nigeria needs in terms of living and minimum wages. Ferdinand, not the defender, who, makes his debut today on the show and is here to tell us about what life would look like in a post-oil economy in Nigeria. According to Leo Tolstoy, the sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. Finally, Kemak is telling us a story that shows the humanness and thoughtfulness in our daily living. Sit back. The panelists are here to present your Sunday dose of provoking thoughts after this break. Everything in Nigeria is going to kill you. The anointed musical beef and the Lagos local government election. It was my learned friend, Dr. Ayo Shogunro, who wrote the book, Everything in Nigeria is Going to Kill You. He wrote, my relentless pursuit of, un of an understanding of the survivability of the average Nigerian in a system that is definitely dysfunctional. Some of us complain. Some of us protest. Some of us go spiritual and see many others go material. And also a few of us turn to the arts of solace. We write not to cure other people of madness, but to avoid going mad ourselves. He introduced the book to me at a bar somewhere in Ilupeju in Lagos. I think I bought in solidarity, but as a Christian, I believe in the power of words, so I did not read it. I cannot locate the book now. Judging by the title, it seems the writer is right after all. If you are lucky to escape the physical arm, recent happening will deaden your humanity and feeling. A friend reported how he was robbed at gunpoint. He laughed while narrating the story. His audience also laughed. Many videos on social media have shown where people get robbed in broad daylight at Akwangbon, Eco Bridge, Lekki Ekwe Expressway, Agege, even at the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. The house of the Chief of Staff to the President was robbed right at the heart of the most secured premises in our country. Police stations have been attacked and policemen and women killed. Police, oh! The politics is in shambles, security is nowhere, nobody is talking about to strike again. Our consciences are fading away. Is Nigerian killing us? Is Nigerian killing our humanity? Away from all the problem around, let us relax a bit. Last week was the week of anointed musical beef on the song. Like most of the views that have been expressed on the subject, I stand against the direct diss by Evangelist Okwe Alabi. I stand with Adenyeka Alasheyori, whose name I now know, thanks to the evangelist. Beef between musicians is not uncommon. Those in the hip hop world will not easily forget Tupac and Biggie Beef. They both paid with their lives. The jury is still out there, whether it was the beef that occasioned their de eventual death. Nigeria has its fear of lyrical wars and beefs amongst its musicians. For those who could remember the interesting war between late Alaji Sikirwa in the Barista and General Kolinti Anyela, you go fear titles. Whilst Alaji Agba was measured in his lines, General took no prisoners in his lyrical attacks on Barista. There were negative undercurrents between King Sonia Ade and now Evangelist Ebenezer Obi. They were in the habit of denying beef, but their talking drummers and guitarists were always quick to contradict them at the slightest opportunity with invectives, hidden in sounds of drums and guitars. Said Oshukpa, aka Saridon P, Saridon Papa, Oshukpa, or King of Music, has his long drum battle with Wasio Alabi Pasuma, aka GSM Alaji, Popsi Aliya, Baba Wasila, Omo Yawa Anobi. This was further taken to the streets, and the fans were often violent. Lost in between is the beef between two face and face. The beef between Davido and Whiskey is nothing new. 
Yes, it's extreme violence, but of course, e-violence on Twitter and Instagram. I heard rumors about abuse between the double legend Osita Osadebe and Oliver the Coke. Thus, beef in the gospel music world is just another with anointing. Of course, I side with Adeni Kala Shiori, the subject of the diss from Evangelist Tokwe Alabi. Please, don't let the Nigerian factor kill you, your conscience, humanity, or humanness. Join the gossip. It's interesting. The good side is that you will not be wrong. Before I forget, the Lagos State local government election is near. Please participate. It is your right. It is your obligation. <laughs> <laughs> I must say that I, I, I had to hold my... I really had to... That was quite an interesting one, I must say. And I, the way we went from the gospel artist to... The secular artist was quite interesting, but I do find it slightly, should I say, I mean, I don't want to sound really aggressive, but I do find it slightly distasteful that at some point, because of the religious connotations, I believe that there could have been some decorum and some better handling of the crisis between Evangelist Sokwe Alabi and, what's her name? Alashiori. Ala, Ali, Ala I believe that if you've had something to say to her, there might have been better ways to handle it. But then who knows, that may just be my opinion. And she may have done what she felt was directed of her to do. Who am I to talk about it? Well, I, to, to speak to this, I think that when it comes to um, the territory, there will always be beef. Um, and in a sense, growing up with, back in the day with Tupac and Biggie and just seeing what had played out, you understand that you can't always run away from it. But this particular incident, I see the context of it around the IP. And if you're talking about an IP infringement, there are legal ways to pursue that. But I also, in a sense, think about it. In most of us, I'll be doing songs that were raised on even modern, modern day musicians. Have they ever bothered to ask who wrote it? And how long are these IPs available for? And if you want to do someone's song, maybe get it right. But again, to, to a claim for IP is not something you throw out on social media. I think there are legal ways to express that. But in this case... Okay, I don't think it was a case of intellectual property. But the truth is, I don't... I count that, at the risk of sounding arrogant, I count it so beneath me to even have an opinion about that. Because as far as I'm concerned, I have little to no respect for Tokwe Alabi, whoever it is. I really do not... I won't even bother justifying that crap with a comment of mine. That's just how I feel about it. And well, well, that yeah, man, that's, a, that is another that's, that's dimension a, to yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's but, then, exactly but then I would say know. to talk to what Fedi has said, I really think that in this particular case, Tokwe Labi was very vocal from what I read, that she believes that it wasn't an, it was a Holy Spirit inspired song, that, that wasn't what it was. And that, you know, the only duro that is my guarantor in English, the person who stands behind me, it should know that you can't, you can't diminish God and place you him see, as your guarantor. You see, and I'm editor, thinking, where I have seriously? a problem, you see, my problem with you know, religion, there was a claim. particularly in this part of the world, is the disgusting, uh, 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 self deluded interpretation of what God is and who God is. And people trying to force their personal opinions mm. down the throats of the gullible mm. but spiritually blind followers and following. So, like I said, I don't even want to go into... I think it's beneath me, mentally I, I, I and intellectually, think, think, to talk think, about who is right think, or who is wrong. Uh, I you know, you know, will not buy into think, that. Thinking um, about it, I, I think the, the, point, the, point, the point you're making is even bigger than just what we're discussing. Uh, there is the context of saying that we live mm. in a society that is highly religious, but short on spirituality. Fantastic. So people are caught up in just following the treadmill, mm -hmm. going after exactly. and regurgitating what other people are saying. But spirituality, it's every human, every human has a sense of coming into their own awareness of spirituality. And I think the customization and imposing a particular model as a way to express spirituality, it's really not going to carry us through into the future. I mean, it's more than anything else. Religion will always break. Religion cannot sustain us. So, but again, when you look at it in, in any context, is it, is it worth our conversation? So the reason absolutely why it's worth our, not absolutely it is worth our conversation because it takes me away from all the problems of Nigeria. Oh, as an escape route. Uh, yes, yes. And Francis is an escape, to is a, is an escape strategy. And, and, and to, to tell you the truth, it, it takes away... So the person I was talking about was my colleague in the office and his car broke down. He joined the bus and he was robbed. And 
he was laughing about the whole story and it was funny to everybody. And when I laughed, something, when something, something when hit I me, hmm. like, we're really losing our humanity. So, indeed, the writer friend of mine is right when he hmm. said everything in Nigeria will kill you. It may not kill you physically, oh, but... Wow. So, talking about the musical abuse and the ones that's got the anointing now, is the escaping strategy. <laughs> well, and I'm wondering, as Nigerians, how long we're going to keep escaping and what we're actually going to do. But then it's a good escaping strategy, I must say, and interesting... It's, I don't think so. Unleashed. It's not sustainable because it draws you deeper into a, a, a greater sense of confusion mm. and commotion. Well, but sad. anyhow, let's just move it along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we keep the ball rolling. Yes. Up next is Anita. And she wants to tell us what Nigeria needs as regards living wages. Anita, over to you. Mm -hmm. 